first video graduated high school this year class of 2013 and here are some things to do in high school and some things not to do in high school first thing to do in high school try your best if you don't try your best i guarantee you you will regret not trying because if you're going to try to get into a college it's not going to work that great with you having a low gpa and the colleges expect you to have a good GPA. Second thing you should do, fuck relationships. Fuck relationships. Yes, I said it. Fuck them. If you want to have a booty call, have a fucking booty call. If you want to have fucking girlfriend or boyfriend, have fucking boyfriend. But at the end of the day, it's all about either you're going to college or you're not going to college. If that relationship fucks up your GPA like it did for mine, then you're fucked. I'm fucked. I got low ass GPA because I was fucking stupid and didn't give a fuck about anything except for that relationship. Trust me, fuck relationship. If it doesn't move on, fucking move on. Be like, bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. Move the fuck on. Be like, jerk, you, you got small dick. Okay, that, that kind of hurt me a little. But you got small dick, move on, bitch. Don't give a fuck. You move on and continue your schoolwork. Honestly, focus on your schoolwork first and then try to work out the relationship. Third thing to do, go to school. It's not all about learning stuff and math and social studies and English and stuff. It's what you learn in school isn't just academics. It's actually you're learning, you're uh, working on your communicating skills and you're learning um, your communicating skills right there too, too. Communicating skills and more communicating skills. That's something you need in your career if you want a career and you don't want to be a hobo sitting at home. Wait, if you're a hobo, you won't really have a home to sit at or like a house. So, cut. Fourth thing to do, figure out your career. Explore, this is the time to explore. You gotta, um, what, engineering classes, you got um, auto classes, you got foreign language, you got, what, physics? Well, that's just general education, but at the same time, you got like multimedia, you got um, uh, word work, woodworking, uh, you got tons of stuff. Take advantage of that. Go into something that you're interested in and go more in depth into it. See if you like it or not and might want to pursue it as a career. Figure it out. Figure it out. Because once you go to college, you're going to be undecided. You're going to waste the fucking money. And in this economy, money can't be wasted, bitch. Fifth thing to do. Fifth thing to do in high school. Be talkative. Talk to people. Network with people. Get them to know you, who you are. Get them to know you because you know you might become great friends and work together in the future and they might help you give that push that you need or they might know the person you need to get into what you want to get into get to know people talk to people i don't give a fuck what people think of me i talk to them I'm like sup dog not not really Talking to people will make your life so much easier. First day of school, tons of people, you don't know anybody in that class, you don't know anyone. So there's like a guy right there, it's like an emo chick. There's like that that one bitch that always screams really loud. There's like that, that one jock. Talk to him, talk to them. You know that emo chick might be smart. That jock might uh, be your best friend and protect you from all the bullies. Honestly, it will. Help. First thing not to do, get too involved in relationships. I already said this, but first thing not to do, don't get too involved in relationships. Put school first. School first, then relationships. Trust me, it will turn out for the better. Better. Second thing not to do, do not stay in a class where the teacher teaches you in a manner where you're not comprehending their teaching style. So if there's a teacher giving you notes and they're not going over the notes or anything, they're not doing any of that, they're not you know, answering your questions, they're just there to be the teacher. 
don't stay in the class, move to another class. Sure, you're supposed to be a young adult and search up your own shit, but trust me, as a young adult myself, you don't want to do that shit. It's, it'd be a lot easier for you to switch your classes, get into a class that's actually, you know, you're actually learning something. Actually learning something and enjoying the class. Honestly, I hate math and I'm Asian. I know it makes no sense. Mind blowing. <laughs> but if there's a class that I'm good at, then I will grow to like it. Like this year, um, I, I, wait, I guess it would be last year because I just graduated. Last year, I, I, I had a really great math class. I, I liked it because I knew what I was doing. I understood the work. That's the only reason why I liked it. On the other hand, if I didn't understand what the teacher was teaching, I would hate the class and not want to go to the class. Three, don't give a fuck about what anyone thinks of you. I'll go more into detail on this topic in another video, but don't give a fuck. Don't even care. Four, don't be quiet. Don't be that person in class that's always awkward and they're like, you know, you're sitting in class and like, you know, you talk like this and you're very quiet and you're scared of everything and you're here, present. Don't be that bitch. Talk to people. I already went through this, but yeah. Don't be that quiet person. Talk to people. It, Five, don't join easy classes that you know you're gonna get an A in. Actually challenge yourself. Because at the end of the day, do you actually feel good that you can already do something that you already knew how to do? That's like saying you're proud of yourself walking every day of your life. That shit gets old. You're only proud of yourself once you learn when you're a kid, but. Do you get the satisfaction of not learning anything and doing what you already know every day? Bitch, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. It'd be a lot better for you. It'd be a lot better for your future. It'd be a lot better for you in general. If you like this video or agree with anything I said, give me a thumbs up. Consider possibly subscribing if you don't like it. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And um, bye, cream pie.